Latoya Fraser explains to us that the exhibit documents the struggles and the achievements of the people in the steel town of Braddock, Pennsylvania. For 11 years, I have been photographing my family in my hometown of Braddock, Pennsylvania. It became very clear to me at a very young age as a youth through looking at the conditions that my mother and my grandmother and I were living in one block away from Andrew Carnegie's first still mill, the Edgar Thompson Works, that we were born into a harsh reality of poverty and environmental degradation. And through, you know, witnessing the loss of my family, um, we all have terminal illnesses. And, you know, each generation we have kind of quietly died off without any assistance or programming from the, the local state or the government, witnessing the loss of my family in the economic downturn um, after the spread of global economy kind of um, encouraged me and inspired me to begin to photograph us. If, if I don't tell my story or make photographs of us, no one will. One important purpose of the exhibit is to document the stories of the African-American women in Braddock. In the grand narrative about the Industrial Revolution and the pride and all the stories that have been told about Braddock, Pennsylvania, one story that's been silenced and omitted from history is the voice and the stories of black women. And this exhibit offers Americans and viewers and people who are clearly impacted by a global economy an opportunity to see what the lives were like and the hardships, but also to see the humility and the humanity and the love and the strength and the camaraderie in the story. And I, and I think that it's a very necessary thing to, to see the point of view and the perspectives of three women who grew up in three different social and economic periods in Braddock. Uh, my grandma Ruby grew up there in the 40s. My mother grew up there in the 60s, and I grew up there in the 80s. To learn about how the three of us as one family unit spanned the 20th and 21st century of our culture and our identity um, is something that I'm proud to offer, and I hope that people will come out and and, um, connect to the work. In 2009, the University of Pennsylvania Medical Center closed the Braddock Hospital which had been serving the working class for many years. Latoya Fraser documents the tragedy of this loss in one of her photos. There is a portrait of uh, Mr. Jim Kidd. Uh, Jim Kidd is a, a longtime resident of Braddock, Pennsylvania. He's lived through a lot of, you know, the darker histories that people don't like to address, which deals with a lot of race relations. But in the image, Mr. Jim Kidd Jim and I decided that we would show up on Braddock Avenue in the late afternoon when there was the construction workers tearing down the hospital. And so what the viewer will see in the image is that Jim is standing there in the middle of the street, and right behind him you see just uh, the inside guts and the just ripped out aluminum and the bricks of the hospital crumbling like it's about to fall on him because the weight of it is so heavy. And then you see one of the construction workers kind of walking by, and I'm pointing out this social relationship between, you know, who is being affected and the fact that both of them really are. You know, the construction worker needs to work and take care of his family, but, you know, Jim and I, Jim and I depended on the hospital for our health. So just capturing that moment, crystallizing how everyone is connected and affected by this type of loss. And Jim's holding a sign that says race-based, class-based health care. This exhibit is both beautiful and important on many levels. Jim Crevo for the WBAI Cultural Calendar.